Hello friends, this video is about introduction to C++ and this is the content. This much is enough to know about C++ in theory and we will see the practical throughout the course. So object oriented programming language. This is an object oriented programming language. What makes it object oriented programming language? These four things makes it object oriented programming language. Abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance and polymorphism. So if any programming language having these four concepts that is called object oriented programming language but this is not a pure object oriented programming language and the reason is we can code in c++ as we used to code in c and we really don't need to write our code in object oriented way we can write it in functional way also like you can call lots of function and make your work done there is no need or no requirement actually for you to write everything in object oriented form so that's why it is not a pure object oriented programming okay it is an extension to c i think everyone knows about that so when c++ was created it was not created from the scratch it was taken from c so everything was taken from c and additional things were added into c okay now it's totally changed but it is still the extension of c and the creator of c++ is bejarne strostrup if i pronounce correctly so he created c++ in bell lab started the development in 1979 and first release was in 1983 it is not like you need to remember this no one really ask in interviews or in exam i guess if they are not really in mood to kill you so previously it was known as c with classes so c++ was not named as c++ initially it was c with classes first later it was changed to c++ okay and c++ is a statically typed language what is statically typed language you have to bind the data types with the variables not the values okay so you will first create the variable of some type and then you will start using that okay so that is statically typed language another is free form this free form is nothing but you can write programming like this also you need not to give semicolon just after this t here you can give any number of spaces in between these two lines then also this program will compile correctly so those things comes under free form there is no actual form of writing your code okay and another is compiled language what do i mean by compiled language there are some languages you don't need to compile and what is that compile here so first of all let's suppose you have written this code okay now if you want to check whether it is really working or not you cannot just directly tell this program that okay now you start running no you have to give some command so that computer will understand okay this is main function okay fine it will come inside okay this is integer variable okay i'm going to initialize 1 plus 2 into that okay this is c out okay this is an object inside this standard okay fine this syntax is also fine everything is fine when it will reach to this bracket which is this end bracket and it seems to be correct there is no error in this whole code then it will say okay fine you you are good to go and it will generate one extra file out of this file and you will run that file not this file okay so that process what is starting from this place and going to this place is called compilation okay and there are some languages they will just directly start running like they will start running from here and they will go to here and if there are other lines they will just directly start working on those lines and will start executing those lines and whatever is written on those lines will start happening but let's suppose there are hundreds of line from 1 to 100 but there was some problem in 15 number line so until unless it reaches to that error it won't be knowing that there is some problem in this whole code okay and generally those programming languages are called scripting languages so this c++ is not a scripting language okay so it is a compiled language and another is general purpose language this general purpose language makes this c++ very strong because you can write code for not only graphics you can write code for almost anything in c++ okay we use c++ for gaming purpose for application software development for driver development 
for firmware development. So there is no limit actually. Okay, because I can take so many names, but you won't be knowing that maybe if you are a beginner. And why people prefer C++ is that is the best beauty part of this C++ and that is the speed of execution. Generally, all the gaming engines are built on C++ because C++ gives object oriented way of developing your program, which is really a faster way of developing bigger projects. And second thing is it is really very fast in execution. And what do I mean by that? It means it has less overhead than other programming languages. It is built in that way. I'm not comparing any language here. This video is not about comparing the languages. I may create that in future, but I personally like C++ because it is really very fast. And when I was giving programming competitions, I was using this language only because it has almost everything for you and it runs really very fast. And I love this language. So this was the last point. So I think we are done here. I hope you like the video. Now let's look at the next video, which is about sample program in C++. So this you might not get because you might not be knowing what is this integer and all these things. What is this bracket, this bracket, what is this return zero? What is this hash include IO stream and all that. So I'm explaining that in the next video and from next video, we'll start our C++ journey. So go ahead and start learning. I'll see you in the next video.